Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to do sorting in Excel 2010. Now sorting is an easy way to do some quick analysis on the range of data you have or, or a table of data that you have. And let's go into how we do some sorting. So what we can do is if we want to do just a quick sort of maybe one column, we can just select any cell inside the column and go under the in the home in the ribbon, go to the home tab go to the sort and filter and we can sort by ascending or descending. See if I have sort by ascending I'll get from east and the last values would be west. And you can control Z to undo that. We can also do uh, of course uh, descending and then west would come first. Uh, let me go and undo that. Now another way to do it is you can select in the cell and do a right click and there's also a sort under this quick menu here and it's got the same selections here, uh, ascending and descending. So that's in a way that we can do it. You, oh, in addition, of course, you can select on your other cells. If we want to, these are these are sorting by alphabetical order. Maybe we want to sort by uh, values. We can go in there and right click and do a sort. Maybe I'll do from large to smallest, and it will sort that out. Let me uh, control Z to undo. Another way we can do some advanced sorting is doing the custom sort. Now if we select any cell on the table we can actually go into editing. Actually there's another way to actually there's another way to do sorting is to go into the data tab and there is a sort and filter grouping and you can also do it from here. Now if we wanted to do some additional sortings maybe we want to do we want to sort one column and then we want to also do a secondary sort of another column that's actually a customized sort. So if I go and click into the sort it's going to come up with this sort window and we can we can have the first level maybe we want to do region first and we want to have those by A to Z and then we want to have the product ID so we'll add another level and we would go to product ID and we also do A to Z. So it's going to sort this alphabetically first and then after it does that it will sort the product IDs and we can click OK and you can see that it's done that east, east, north, south, west, and then the product IDs by alphabetical order. You can see that it's done that. So everything east, G, 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 L, W, and then north, G, U, W, and so on. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. In addition to doing these primary and secondary sorts, you can also do sorting by different attributes like the cell color. So let's say for example we have these two cell colors that are yellow. We can go in there and do a sort, do a custom sort, and we want to sort the profit column and maybe we want to sort on the cell color and it's going to it's going to have all the we want to sort those, those, we want those to come first so we want the order to have uh, the color yellow come first and you can see that it's done that let me undo that. Now there's also another way to do it. I mean there's other sort uh, options available. We can sort by font. You can see that I've made these font colors red. We can go into product ID and let's say we want to sort by font color and we want to have the red color come first and it's going to do that for us too. Uh, let me control Z to undo. And we can also sort by icons. If there's some icons in the cell like down here we can sort by that too. Let's say we want these and th we want to have the uh, exclamation mark icon comes first we would just click in there go into sort or maybe I can just start to do the right click and right click it and do a sort and there's also a custom sort here which will bring up that same window and I want to do the south and I want to sort on the cell icon and I want to have the uh, exclamation ones come up first click OK and you can see that they came up first here for the south I can control Z. In addition to sorting by column, you can also sort by total, by excuse me, by the row. So maybe I want uh, for this row, I want the first, I want to sort by ascending. So what I need to do is go under, uh, let me use the icon up here now. Again, go under there and in the options, I would click on that button and I want to sort from left to right. So it's going to sort from left to right. And then at that point, you can see that this header has changed. And I want to sort by row 25. And we see here down in row 25, smallest to largest. So, Or maybe I want to do largest to smallest. So that's going to come first. So you can see that these values, 39, 26, 36, 24, 125, 
they've all moved over here and the smaller values have moved over there. Incidentally, uh, one thing I forgot to mention when we do our sorts, if you have headers and you don't want these to be sorted, go ahead and when you bring up our custom sort, you can see that there's this little checkbox here. Let me move back to uh, top to bottom. You see that there's a checkbox here. So if you don't want that to be sorted, you need to check that off, check that off and to indicate that your column, your first row is the header row. So that is, oops, let me go ahead and cancel that. So that's a couple ways you can do sort in Excel. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.